It is no secret what God can do. God is yet in the blessing, delivering, and healing business. We have not because we ask not. I think that it is very noteworthy that every one of us recognize the fact that God has blessings that are held up in heaven that he wants to bestow upon his people. But the reason those blessings are not coming our way is because there is a separation that has taken place between us and God. And so we've fallen into a form of godliness, but we're denying the power thereof. God wants to work miracles. He wants to show his power through us. But he's not going to do it as long as we do not acknowledge the fact that he is God. Touch somebody and tell them, I know God is God. Now you got, you got to say it like you mean what you're saying. See, because God is looking for vessels. He's looking for somebody to use. You know, but you see, God's not going to do like the devil. The devil will use anybody. God's going to use somebody that's willing to make the sacrifice. And there is a sacrifice involved when you say, use me, Lord. That means that folk ain't going to like you. That means they're going to talk about you. That means that they will dig ditches for you. But to be used of God means that God will use you and along with using you, he will let that usury be accompanied with an anointing. And it is the anointing that destroys the yokes. And that's what we need now. We need some destroyed yokes. Because too many of us, even now, are held and bound and the devil has his creeps around us and we want to praise God but we're handcuffed but God is saying look I want to bless you look at our surroundings if you will we live in a supposedly Christian society we live in a supposedly Christian nation so brother preacher why are you saying supposedly Christian because you see we're saying one thing with our lips but our hearts are far from it. We've yet got a nation that is filled with folk that have hatred in their heart. We yet live in a nation where we're free physically, but we're bound spiritually. You better help me tonight, Holy Ghost. God is saying, I want to bless you, but he said, now you got to be very careful because if you're not very careful, if you don't stop abhorring after those idol gods, if you don't stop abhorring after those tangible things you can feel and begin to seek me from the depths of your heart, God has said, what's going to happen is, I'm going to cut you off. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And when God cut you off, you're in trouble. Yeah. Tell somebody, tell them, don't you let God cut you off. See, y'all said that kind of pitiful. I, I believe sometimes some folk look at each other and say, well, maybe I'm cut off already. Grab somebody by the hand and tell them, don't you let God cut you off. Praise God. I don't care how silly it might look. I don't care how dumb it might seem. You have got to give God his praise. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. God demands his praise. Amen. He demands it. He's got to have it. Everything God made praises him but man. Amen. The stars praise him. That's right. The birds praise Thank him. You. you can't stop a bird from singing. Yeah. Only way you stop a bird from singing is you kill him. Yeah. Other than that, he's going to praise God somehow or another. He's so glad when the sun rises until he just go to chirping. Yeah. He's so glad when it rains until he just go to chirping. Yeah. Everything God does is in order with the bird. But man is the only animal, the only creation that God ever made that rebels against God. Amen. And he looks for anything to take God's place. Amen. Amen. All right, let's read Isaiah, the 43rd chapter of Isaiah. And the 15th verse, you'll find these words. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your King. Thus said the Lord which maketh a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters 
which bringeth forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. They are extinct. They are quenched as tow. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Stop right there. Let me tell you something. What God is saying is, I am the one who has the power over every army. I can make an army big and I can bring it down to nothing. I am the one who gives victory and causes defeat. Help me preach this thing, Holy Ghost. God is telling them that, look, I am in total control. I am the Lord your God. Can I get a witness here? He said, remember not the former thing. In other words, forget that stuff in the past and start considering where you are right now. I'm so glad. I was telling somebody today, it's a good thing God put eyes in front of our head instead of behind our head. Because if God had to put eyes behind us, we couldn't see where we were going for looking where we've been. So God put eyes in front of you so you can forget what's behind you and keep looking forward. Tell somebody and tell them I'm looking for good things. Well, praise God somehow or another. And then he said, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field shall honor me, the dragons and the owls, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Grab a neighbor by my hand and tell him the only way out, the only way out. is back to God. 